weaning. Pretty good little dozer. Uh, I still like the way it sounds. It sounds pretty good. But anyway, just figured I'd uh, take you out with me on that little journey there. Had to move the dozer. It was under a uh, tree that is not in real good shape. We're actually going to try to cut here before too long. But uh, right there, guys, there's a big pine there. There's a big one there. And uh, I don't trust neither one of them. The first one right there is leaning way down the hill, way bad. So other than spreading next two trees to clean up, next two projects but uh there you go guys you got to go for a little ride on the 450. uh forgot something important guys whoops we don't want to forget that that's important uh all right weenie here's the thing well hold on anyway guys I know y'all don't like to see me working on a golf cart and all that. You come here to watch the excavation, but time being, it is what it is. I don't really have a whole lot to do at the moment. Uh, the parking lot, I have a low stone coming for it, but that will be probably this coming week. Um, I hauled a couple loads of dirt today. I didn't video that, just goofing off more or less. But I want to get my buggy fixed back because it's really handy, especially in the winter time, checking the cows, feeding, and what have you. Um, a lot of different things around on the farm that it's really handy for. I need to clean it out. Looks like a, you know, like, looks like a trash truck. But you know, it is what it is. Caulking gun I've been looking for. Uh, all kinds of beauty goodies, but. Here's the deal, the torque converter flew apart on this and uh, the washer had pulled through. I didn't have the right washer, so I ordered that one. Uh, it sits down in here and sits in the keyway there. Keeps it from turning or what, what have you, so it's not spinning the boat and spinning the boat out. Uh, this is the boat that the engine takes. The other boat broke off in the engine, so we're going to have to drill it out. This is the boat that they sent with it, which I don't know what you would use that on. I mean, I don't know of any six horsepower or six and a half horsepower go-kart motor that would have that size boat, but whatever. Uh, hit my hand on the frame, taking that piece off, uh, that hurt. That felt real nice. Anyway, that's a $129 engine. Uh, seven horsepower built hard to come off of Amazon. It still runs great. Uh, set probably for eight months, maybe a year. I don't know. It's set for a while. But uh, it still ran great. I fired it up. Uh, it would probably fire up first, second pull right now. So I want to get this fixed back. It's handy when I'm doing excavating jobs, like just up the road from my house, because I can jump on it and run and get whatever I need or whatever. So it's pretty handy to have. Plus we use it in hunting season, and uh, I want to get it fixed back. And somehow I ain't got much else. This will be good content. And uh, we got the stone coming up for that driveway project that you all seen us do. Um, I have the swamp job back here. I've got to do some more back there. I've got to get up with him. But I'm going tomorrow to look at a water line job. And I'll probably put that on here also. And uh, we got some good stuff coming up, guys. Just stay tuned in. Keep watching. I mean, I... The last little bit, I know the content hasn't been real, real great, but I like to do the follow-ups, like on the church job. 
I like to do the follow-ups on that. The drone helps out with that. I like my drone a lot. That works out great for the channel also. Uh, you get a little better perspective from the air of what's going on with the land lay. And uh, so that's nice. But there will be uh, some more coming up. There'll be some good content. And y'all bear with us. It's just going to take a little time. Uh, I think they're having another farm expo coming up here in the fall. I'm not sure exactly when it is or what. I ain't got all the information on that yet. But uh, maybe it'll be better than the last one. I know the last one, not, not like great. I got stuck in the train and doing all that. But anyway, enough sidetracking. Back to what we've done here. So I got this off of the motor. This goes on first. The torque converter goes on over this, against this, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it actually sits on the motor like that. And then the belt runs in there. But uh, I have made my own motor plate for this. So I've got four bolts. I've got two here, two over there. I need to take it loose, uh, try to scoot it around to where I can get in there to the shaft to get it drilled out, get the bolts out of it, or what have you, so I can uh, get this torque converter put on, and I think it'll be good to go once I get that bolt out of the crank, but that's going to be a tricky deal, so y'all bear with me on this, I'm holding the camera, and uh, I'll be the one taking the bolts loose and doing all the rest of it and trying to hold the camera too. So yeah, I'll bear with me on that. Go over here and get a few tools. This is where the uh, 90 piece heart kit is going to shine. I <laughs> hope. If not, I'll be upset, but I think it will. I think it'll do great. I'm really uh, kind of hooked on this heart stuff. I like it. Uh, all right, well, so we dug this up right here. This is a little water line project that we're looking at. And uh, this was tied into the well. And they tied in city water from up there and brought it down here to this. all the way to the house and uh, the machine just died I think it still has some water in it or something but anyway it goes around the bottom side of that goes all the way out there to the front of the house but uh, dug it up there it was dry no water there uh, what I found was here in the box uh, this right here was leaking this is something that the water company has put in and uh, I don't have access to that fitting. Uh, our local building supply don't carry that style. Uh, somebody said that regular uh, PEX fittings will work. I don't know. I've not never tried that. But uh, it's good to know that that is the problem. I ain't going to have to dig her whole yard up. She's a very, very nice lady. Uh, and I'd hate to have to dig all her pretty yard up. Just, and then it end up being something like that, something stupid. So, luckily I found it. We're going to, we contacted the water company. They don't want to honor it. Hopefully they will. If they don't, then I guess I'll just have to try to figure it out. Order parts online, whatever it takes. But, uh. I dug a hole here because I thought it might be leaking out here. Nothing. So, I looked up, found it out there. I could hear it, luckily. Somehow I heard it. I don't know how. I'm deaf anyway, but I heard it. So, that was a plus. Beautiful day, guys. Beautiful day. So, I filled that back in where I dug that out. 
and uh, kind of sitting around waiting on the water company to call me. They're supposed to be calling me back. Looks like we got some up here working in hay. So anyway, weenies, hang tight. All right, weenies. So on this fitting right here, uh, it was leaking, blowing back down the blue pipe. We called PSA. That's our water authority. They're going to come out Monday and fix that. And uh, I will try to get a video on that and put it in my next video. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next. And keep cranking, weenies.